potentially Lores just to make it through. But we're going to start that off right now as we get to the other half of top eight. First round, Boomy versus Kainer. Yeah, and so we're going to have another Blasters Ditto here where a lot of players are actually just opting to pick the solution pick into Boomy. Um, we saw it with Fiend, much to my surprise, where I thought the Tori was going to be coming through. But no, the Katars, the, the Blasters, the Lucian seems to be a huge uh, just a huge shift towards everybody picking this character as we're getting further into this top eight. But Boomy standing strong on the Diana uh, and kind of getting obliterated by kind of on the Katars at the moment. Finally stops the damage to the downline side air. Kind of side sticks the wrong way, and Boomy tries to go for a dodge and read on that side stick and gets hit for it. Yeah, I mean, if there's any hope for a lot of people for South America. Of course, you've oh. got Kaina, who is a, who sports an undefeated win during Springs. That was one of the most dominant ones we saw. And we talk about Boomy's Blasters being one of the staples of the industry, but Kaina striking back first and being the first one to get this stock in this game. Yeah, all of that off the back of the guitars and then using those Blasters to be able to get that knock off the side of the stage. Kaina goes in with that side light. Nair, nice down here to interrupt the recovery, but the damage is still going in favor of Kaina here. Boomy yet to be able to knock out put out a lot of down sinks in yesterday's matchups to be able to stop him. He can't even get on the ground to stop the sidelines that are coming out from Kaina. Kaina's relentless against Boomy here. Yeah, you know, he tried that trick a ton yesterday and it did work against Fiend and Kaina said, that's not going to work against me, bro. That's not how this is going to go down. Boomy is having a very difficult time playing Brawlhalla, period. Even though this Diana has been phenomenal so far, it has been barely existent in this game. Yeah, Boomy gets the D-Light, gets the recovery. There's Kaina going off the top of the stage, Kaina giving a little bit of a nod collecting himself as he comes back to the stage, realizing that he is a hit away from having a full stock lead over Boomy here. But Boomy can make it happen. He gets so many of those silent reasons. Oh, wow, D-Light, neutral signature. Even unarmed Kaina is so good. He uses that very often, too. It's like, this isn't like just a one-time deal we're seeing here. He goes for that pretty often, and Kaina is just, once again, he's dominating. He has a huge lead, trying to go for a D-Light into ground, shot, trying to get an early sneak there, maybe against it, but Kaina smartly not drifting away. Oh, and Kaina catching every one of these landings here on Demon Island. Boomy can't get back to the ground. The guitars are completely decimating him. Side like him through the Nair, double Nair. Boomy can get the recovery, and that recovery off the top means Kaina's got an, a, a nice juggle situation here. Boomy was trying to bring it back there, and that downside comes through, and Kaina immediately cuts through with his own. Yeah, Kaina, of course. I mean, especially here on Demon Island, you have to watch out for that DC got ledge all the time. Drips off stage with the neutral lights, looking for maybe recovery, but instead, he's just letting Boomy rock, and that is going to be a closeout. What a dominant first game from Kaina here to start off this set. Yeah, side stick comes through, 630 damage to 284, and they're going to be going into game number two right away. That's like a classic, like, in a second that his opponent locks in, Boomy's like, okay, I'm locking in, spamming that, uh, what, I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, he wastes no buttons. time. He yeah. is, he he gives us the least amount of time to do these. Replays, we talk <laughs> about stats. You talked about it before, 284 damage taken overall. Yeah. There, there's no other way to put it. He, he doubled the damage. Yeah. He dominated that first game. What does Boomy need to do to try and figure out how to solve that? Because the tricks of playing on Demon Island that he did against Fiend worked yesterday. Probably, it did not work here. Probably get off Demon Island. Uh, Brawl Haven's coming up here. It's still a flat stage. Three, he has a few two, opportunities one, for these uh, signatures four. to knock out an orange. And also just be mindful of Kaina's guitars. Kaina's not doing what we saw. Oh, goodness. Happened yesterday. <laughs> Dude, okay. Kaina's not, not even going to let me talk about it. D-Light comes in. He goes to get the dare. Boomy just getting completely destroyed by the guitars here. Side Side air dodges out of the way and Kaina doesn't get hit by the side air after that D-Light and he dodges out of the way the recovery. The recovery almost catches it, Kaina barely dodges through. That would have been a stock for sure. That would have been such a good steal on Boomy to get that, but instead Boomy is going to suffer potentially this first stock. He avoids the recovery, so he's going to sneak back on with that Nair. Uh, he's, he's got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah, has the bow now, gets hit by the side light, dodges all the way around to the side of the stage. Nice punish on the neutral signature, doesn't get the second end light and the down takes are coming through here. We're seeing that strategy come out from yesterday. Nice neutral light goes to the ground pound and Kaina jumps right right around it, but that was close. Yeah, he's seeing through a lot of what Boomy wants, but Boomy's starting to get his straight hits in. It seems like the ball is the play here, but uh, D-Light into Nair, and he's uh, trying to chase him again, minimizing a ton of damage. Weapon toss down actually helps him get back down to the ground as well. Let's see if Boomy goes for those do uh, downlight neutral signatures. Goes for a raw side signature on the, the on the fast fall there. Kind of jumps over it, hits him with the series. Damage enough to be sent flying, but that was almost a zero to knockout there yep. at the very beginning, and Boomy came back in really good fashion. Yeah, this is a very different tone shift from what could have been the start of this game, because Kaina was looking to speed run that first knock away. <gasps> that will not get rid of that one. Okay. So Boomy's going to get the D-Light there, push him over onto the side, and uh, big, big option here, and he covers him with the recovery. Great job 
from Boomy, minimizing that damage compared to what could have been a dominant first stock. Yeah, that recovery came out was really scary. I thought I was going to juggle him with a ton of the landings, but no, Boomy manages to make them work. He's getting a lot of these really close stacked down lights, and then doing a neutral light or a nair afterwards to get extra damage. He goes for that side stick read. He's got to be careful about that. Kaina is wary of all the tricks that Diana and players like to have, except that one. Down to come through, catches him crossing him up. The dive kick comes through, and Boomy actually saves Kaina with that edge guard. Yeah, Boomy uh, kind of committed to that ground pound and kind of seeing full through it. D-Light Stair is going to now give him stage control. And Boomy has to be very careful about avoiding getting hit by a jump stair read and kind of just dashing back and forth. D-Light Stair will be the trick. Yeah, doesn't have to go for the recovery there. Boomy damaged enough. And Boomy taking a minute to collect himself there, being like, okay, this isn't the same situation as before, but I can still put on some pressure. Goes in unarmed, hits one side light, but gets hit with a down light. D-Light recovery, double recovery. Boomy almost takes him off the top. That would have been huge, but the exhaust recovery was not enough. He's on, he has brought it all the way back, trying to catch him again at the ledge, but D-Light recovery will probably do it right now as well. Sayer is going to push him back off stage. Boomy chasing, recovery will do it as he evens up the set. Again, there's not a world where we expected it to be like this, but Boomy is making it happen. Yeah, throws the weapon in the jungle there, kind of challenges it unarmed. Rising Dare gets punished by Kaina's Rising Dare, and Kaina going forward with that side air gets punished by one neutral air. Both players on the blasters here, D-Light, side light, goes to the Nair, maximizing the damage there as much as he can, and the Dare, oh, tries to go for a jump read there with that neutral air. That could have led to two, maybe three more Nairs, but it doesn't work out, and Boomy now has orange damage on him. I will say, even with that orange damage, I'm noticing an energy shift here. It feels like Boomy's way more confident about his opener. He's going to get the side light pushing in. Kaina, however, gets him back off stage. Looking for one of those neutral lights, and he's spacing around it well, but he finally gets him on a whiff with that side air, and he's still keeping him stuck at the corner. Yeah, no punish from Boomy on that whiff down light either. Side light comes through, side air misses, but that's going to be the D-Light recovery, and Boomy's going to go down 0-2 against kind of one more game, and kind of knocks Boomy out at 7. We we're talking about the run through all of South America, but first you got to get through the first target at that, and kind of has been one of the most dominant forces in all of South America for good reason. Yeah, when it comes down to it, Laura's with that gold medal, kind of with plenty of gold medals, and then used with the recent and gold medals as well. We've got three heavy hitters here from South America that all seem to be equally competitive in their own yes. unique ways, and that's what's so difficult to get through all of them. That was a great finish there. The damage taken was nearly doubled that time around, but Boomy still has to get the dub to stay in the set. Yeah, incredible job rebounding for what was that early start, but Kaina is uh, not backing down. He, even with the fact that he didn't get that zero to knockout we were looking for at the very beginning, he still is pressuring Boomy better than pretty much I've seen anybody do all weekend. All right, and now Boomy. Falling with the signer goes to the ground pound as well. I still think you're right. I think that despite that uh, game two being so heavily in Kaina's favor, the momentum switch, literally how Boomy is moving and yeah. how he's playing, has adapted quite a bit. Now let's just see if that's still enough to fight against a Titan like Kaina, because Kaina is so fantastic. Um, we saw from that run at BCX, and we're seeing it here in this run in San Diego. That D-Light recovery is going to be Boomy going down to two stocks, and Kaina is a hit away from going down, but how much extra damage he's going to get? He's so good at these guitars against Boomy's unarmed, and Boomy likes to go in unarmed. Yeah, one common theme so far, Taza, is that Kaina has always been in the lead. It hasn't been ch changing away from that. Even with Boomy getting um, way oh, better as the matches progressed, he's still getting hit a ton. He does oh, finally avoid one of the again. dares, but he just keeps going. And look at that, like that Boomy from white to orange against the guitar, Sider hits, forces the dodge with the weapon throw, but Kaina with two good dodge reads, could get a D-Light recovery here. The gravity cancel D-Light and Boomy putting puts it off stage. Might oh, be down to one stock at this rate. what a right there too, jumping back on stage because he knew he would think the ground pound. He tried to catch him with that neutral light. Boomy does get back on, but for how long? One D-Light recovery, I saw, oh, he he's dead. Goes for the side stick, it's dead. I mean, actually, I go for the side stick, but we saw that we saw that mishap with Luna, right? If you miss that D-Light dash jump recovery input, it's a series of inputs, yeah. like seven or six. You could get those uh, those signatures there. And because Kaina wasn't uh, ready for it, they get the punish. And the down heavy from Boomy doesn't even knock out Kaina here on Brawl Haven. Down stick punished as well. Kaina on the verge of a three stock here to get this 3 0. So if he could finish the job with a 3 0 here, potentially knocking out Boomy, who has been a prop for South America so far, and trying to keep that record run alive. But Boomy does finally get one on the board. He's going to have access to the bow. It seems like the bow is the better play. He's kind of been losing out a little bit on the blaster ditto. Yeah, Sila comes through, but it gets hit by a Sider there, and every hit Boomy gets, every time he takes one in return, it's so much worse, but the ground pound hits. Daryl, that was the right read. He got the dodge read. Kinda still sweating. He tries to go for the spike with the neutral signature, but kinda touches the wall. 
Boomy was looking a... for, yeah, Boomy was looking for the big play. If he got that dare, we might be talking about a different game. Uh, he's gonna get sent back off recovery. One more good recovery read. One D light recovery here now from the Blasters, and that ends the game. Oh. <laughs> Is it? They kind of having a throwback against that match against me. Look, who, look who's smiling about it too. Look at them both <laughs> looking at each other in the cameras. Uh, the, the, the message has been sent, and Kaina sends a pack, and that's gonna be a three-all victory for Kaina over Boomy, knocking him out of the bracket. Fist bumps going out, and I enjoy it because he knows what happens. Oh, like, right, yeah. look, I toyed with y'all yesterday. I got it. I respect What's it. What's crazy is that I've never seen Kaina play like that before. So that's really a statement there for South America, being like, I saw what you did yesterday against me for a night, and I'm gonna.